Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, United States, United Nations, Secretary General Antonio Guterres, President of the 27th Conference of Parties, Minister Sami Shukri, distinguished delegates. First, I express my appreciation to President Sisi and the government and the people of the Arab Republic of Egypt for hosting us in the beautiful Sharm el Sheikh. The findings of the sixth intergovernmental panel on climate change show that a more sustainable future is, remains within our reach. Yet, despite growing evidence that the damage of global <clears throat> warming will soon become irreversible, there seems to be little sense of urgency. Rwanda, like the rest of Africa, is ready to prioritize renewable energy. We do this for our own future. The point is not to generate carbon credits so that others can continue using coal, even as Africa is discouraged from exploiting its fossil fuel resources. The most valuable contribution that the developed countries can make is to reduce their emissions faster while investing with Africa to build, to build sustainable green power. Questioning whether Africa is ready to make use of climate finance should not be used as an excuse to justify inaction. We have seen the effects of this thinking during the pandemic. Vulnerable nations cannot rely on external financing alone. We need public-private partnerships. This is why Rwanda has launched IREME Invest, a new green investment facility with over 100 million from US dollars from domestic and international partners. I congratulate all countries that have ratified the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol, most recently the United States, and encourage others to do so. Instruments such as the Commonwealth's Blue Charter and Living Lands Charter are also valuable tools, especially for small island and developing states. Rwanda remains committed to inclusive and transparent negotiations for a green and climate resilient future. I thank you for your kind attention.